All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother from the GMS Valley Camp. I gathered again with the Lord with the edifying lesson. I'm the brother McQuarrie. I'm the brother Goodell. And before we go any further with this Lord with the edifying lesson, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to our only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Kakodash. And let's set double honors to our elder apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone. We still go out there in the hours and heads. You can see that's just 100% true according to the Bible and Ru well. And Shalom to the sincere Austin that's out there laboring, pushing and preaching and teaching the 100% truth according to the Bible to the best of their ability. We got it, bro. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. That's future prophecy right there. That's a prophecy according to the Old Testament that it hasn't happened yet. But that's talking about the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, who the world is called Jesus Christ, man. All right? Who the so called black man from the child of Judah. And he says when he returns the second time, he's going to come back and burn shit up, man. With the laser beams from the chairs with the word of the car, geophones, and his spirit is going to be God knows missing over here to burn everything that's wicked up, man, according to the scriptures, man. And it's just true. And it's just according to the Bible. You got it, bro. Time. Uh, you good, bro. Um, so, um, what that, uh, that Revelations 1 to 7? Yeah, read the 16 verse and grab that. Okay. Bible for sure. Right, I got you. Uh, it's the book of Isaiah 66 and verse 16. It says, For by, it says, For by fire, and by his sword will the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall be many. That's right. You see that? The word plead goes into punish. It goes back to the Hebrew word Shapat, which means to judge, to punish, to destroy, man. So by his fire will the Lord destroy all the two thirds and the heathen that's over here in America, man. Which is what? An innumerable a number of amount, man. So there's gonna be billions of people over here to get destroyed, man. You know, by your by Shemal shot. And it's just true according to the Bible. So the one that said the the Lord is all about love, hugs, and kisses. Hey, they got another thing coming, man. You got it, bro. And all those who think this, uh and all those who think that our Lord, that our Lord and Savior, the so-called white man, got a, got a, got a, got a big surprise coming, man. There's gonna be an angry so-called black man cracking the sky. Then he gonna zap your ass to powder, bro. You got it. That's right. It's the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse seven. It says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him." And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, Amun. That's right. And that's a future prophecy as well. In the book of Revelation that the Apostle John saw on the island of Patmos, he was exiled there uh, for, 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 for being so uh, firm in the, for Yahweh Shemal Shah, you know, where he died there in the salt mine. And this is the book of uh, Psalms 104, verse 3, because it says the clouds, right? I'm gonna grab it. It says, Who lift the things of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the cloud his chariot? Now, what's a chariot? A chariot is a vehicle. Just like in this kingdom, you got uh, cars, trucks, motorcycles, mopeds, bicycles. Those are called chariots, right? So, those are chariots on earth. So, we got chariots in the heavens, too, which the world even called spaceships, man. All right? And the Lord Yahweh Shah is gonna be in the most. Uh, glorious, biggest ones. We call it the fathership. That's what the elect of the nation of Israel is going to get dinged up into. 
It says, who walketh and who walketh upon the wing of the wind. So back in that Revelation, the first chapter, it says, all the kindreds of the earth shall will because of the return of Yahweh Shah. Why? Because they know that it, everything that wicked, they're going to have to pay for, man. All the wickedness that these wicked ass men, women, and children did in this life and their past life, man. And those that fear for Yahweh Shah on the side, those Edomite Syrians, they're going to see Lord Yahweh Shah return because they're back now to that food of reincarnation. And they're going to get zapped with powder, man. And the Lord's going to put in everybody's start of everything that they did wrong, man, before he burns them up. You got it, brother. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 34. It says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And what's that sword? The so called spaceships, man, the so called UFOs. And he's going to use them, okay, to zap people, man. So the Lord says, man, I ain't coming back to send peace when I return again. Because the same spirit that was mocking and scoffing that put him to, that deleted him back then are on earth today. So they're going to receive that judgment on this side, man, in the very near future. And it's going to be what? They're going to get MOTE, they're going to get the MOTV, which is this video, and the Lord's going to burn them alive, man. The two thirds and these evils over here in America, Babylon the Great. You got it, bro. It's the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 49. It says, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? See, that's a reiteration right there. The Lord says, Listen, man. Uh, Lord Yahweh said, I'm coming to bring fire on the earth, man. And what will I have to already be kindled? Because the earth is already going to be on fire from the third world's war and all the chaos and rebellion and, and everything that's been going on before the Lord returns. But the Lord's going to bring the cherry on the top, which is what? Those missiles and the laser beams from the chest to the world and cause the UFO. That's how the Lord is returning, man. That's why in Second Peter, the third chapter, it says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, how so you can be conducting yourself? According to the Lord, the Lord does say the Bible, all holy conversation of God. Because we know this place is going to be destroyed because the Lord showed us, man. But by us reading these scriptures and believing. So, hey, we don't want to be a part of that destruction. So, hey, we just do what we got to do to serve the Lord to the best of our abilities, man. You got it, bro. This is the book of uh, Second Edges, chapter 13 and verse 1. It says, And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the ways thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when That's he turned it, that's what you always shot with the heavenly host, man. This is a, a vision that Ezra, the prophet, saw himself, man. And he's back during these times now, you know? Because he, hey, let me listen, man. He said, what was me? What was me? Who's going to deliver me in those days, man? For so the great tribulation that's about to be here, he saw himself in it, man. You got it. Right, yep. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 13, and verse 3. It says, and I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burnt that heard his voice, like as the earth filleth when it filleth the fire. That's right. That's those laser beams, man. But the word we call you a foe. When those uh, door portals, what they call door portals, when they open, it's going to be concentrated fire coming out of them, man. And those are fires from the heavens. So that's unimaginable, unexplainable, unbearable fire, man. That the two thirds will have to fill with these evils, man. Because we don't want to feel that judgment, Lord. So we want to be a part of the elect to get beamed up. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Second Edges thirteen and <clears throat> Second Edges thirteen and 
in uh, five, it says, and after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Yeah, that's what they're going to try to, um, they're going to try, they, they think they're going to uh, take down the Lord, man. You know, well, that's not going to happen. Okay. But hey, the Lord, the scripture is going to say the Lord's going to have to put the spirit on them to fight, man. You got it. Yep. And that's yeah, the armies from the first world war. That's those, those soldiers, man. You got it, brother. Salaki. Nah, you got it, brother. Yep. Yeah. Yep, verse six it says, But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. That's right, that's how big the chip the fathership was, man. It was like in like the Lord cut a slice. Of a mountain because you know how big a mountain is it's gigantic right so it was like you took a piece of a cut a piece of, of a mountain and sleep on it man and he, he didn't know where the end of it was that's how big man that's how big the fathership is man do you know how fearful that's going to be to where the one the lord cried in the clouds and you see a gigantic so-called ufo a fathership and it's going to be so big so gigantic that you ain't going to know when it's going to uh, end man that's fearful as hell, man. But the two thirds want to they want to play around. They don't want to repent. So hey, that's on them. You got it, bro. Uh, yep. Verse seven it says, "But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid." And yet, there's fight. And the Lord gonna put the, the Lord gonna put the spirit on them to fight them, man. All right, because they're gonna be so terrified, man. This is the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? This is this is the second return of uh, Yahweh Shai, who is born in the cause Jesus Christ, and he's coming back in His glory, man, as an un unstoppable angelic force. You know, something that's unimaginable out of this world, man. But the Lord gonna be like, Nah, I want you to fight me. Come on over here, you know. And the Lord gonna put the spirit on them to do it. Cause when the Lord crashed the clouds, the other time of World War Three, they all gonna start fighting each other and gonna try to fight the Lord. We're gonna come fight the Lord. You got it. But they are gonna lose visibly though. You got it. Yeah. Uh, yep. Verse nine. Is, verse nine. It says, "And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword." Nor any instrument of war, <clears throat> but yeah, you, don't have to. you don't have to. Lord is gonna be sitting there just looking at him like, Yeah, they don't know what's about to come to you, mom. You in essence, man. And the scripture gonna explain what happened. You got it. Yep. Verse 10 it says, But only I saw that he he sent out his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. Dang. And and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempest laser beams laser beams they got that some freaking powder man you know this is what you call an invasion and the lord's gonna come back and conquer it and, and take over the earth man and the earth is gonna be ran in righteousness man the lord's gonna be a part of the elect will be joint heirs man to get down as well. But well, we understand Lord Yahweh Shai got to get his vengeance first, and he's going to get his vengeance first. He's the king of kings and lord of lords, man. When the Lord wants us to get down, we're going to get down. The Lord's going to be a part of the elect. When the time is right, you got it. Kind of, if I could chime in, brother, this is going to be like that scene from the movie, the, uh, the, war, the war of the Worlds, but, you know, far greater. Yep. Independence Day, when all those stupid people, you know what I'm saying, at the, in the beginning of the movie, they thought that uh, that spaceship was going to come and deliver them, and then that portal opened up, and they all got zapped right along with that building. Hey, man, they, we the elites know 
They know. That's why they put in these movies. But they got to cover it up by saying that there's a um, little green alien inside those uh those chariots. They got to lie because they know the truth. In order for you to know the truth, you got uh, in order for you to tell a lie, you got to know the truth. So they know what's up. You got to go. Um, yep. This is uh verse. You want you want to verse eleven? Yeah, what level says? It says, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath. Mm -hmm. God, yep. It says, yep, verse 11, it says, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude mm -hmm. which was prepared to fight and burnt them up, every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid damn but well, everything got that the power man everyone that you've seen all those thousands and thousands of maybe a million troops you know what i'm saying coming to get for well, none of them well, none of them left and the Lord didn't have to lift up his hand, no finger, no nothing. Everybody just got zapped the power, man. See, that's that war in heaven, man. That that these stupid Christians, these antichrists, that they don't get. You know, that's not about when Lord Yahweh shall return with the heavenly host. And the military troops are gonna try to gonna fight against the Lord, and the military troops are gonna lose, man. That's that war in heaven. Not no damn um Satan. You know what I'm saying? Got up his crew in the heaven. They went up against the Lord. That that never happened. That never will happen. You got it. Uh, that was it, bro. Yeah, that was it. So hey, with that, we pray to this message was edifying, exhorting. This is just going into some prophecy about how the Lord is going to return with the chariot. The end result of this place for these sick ass people. You know. So with that, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to the Holy God, the Son, Yahweh, Yahweh, And next up, double honors to our Elder Apostles, slash Elder Bishop, the Great Minister, once again, who rule and well to the best of their ability. And Shalom to the sincere action without their labor, preaching and pushing and teaching the 100% truth according to the Bible. Throughout the whole center of earth to the best of their ability. With that, we say shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.